Hey, what is up everybody? It's Timo here. In today's video, we're going to be playing on the board. Recently, the Iron Mace has come out with the big patch and this big patch made a lot of things changed. And pretty much in today's video, we're going to be showcasing what and how Barbarian has changed. Little hint here, Barbarian is really damn good. The potion chugger got better because ultimately the um, bandages and the healing pods got drastically buffed. And so pretty much you can heal up on a barb within literally like a fucking couple of seconds. You use one potion, you use one green bandage, you're already almost full HP. This is stupidly overpowered. This is extremely broken. And I'm going to showcase you how this is going to work out in action. In today's video, I'm not going to be playing in normals. I'm going to be playing in high roller. And there is one thing that I want to mention. Only 30.1% of the people who are watching my channel has subscribed. The rest didn't. Consider to press subscribe button if you're interested in variety of broken builds, guides, and pretty much everything that associated with Dark and Darker. Anyway, let's go back into today's video. Oh yeah, by, by the way, don't forget to hop in our Discord channel. We recently made a com full community Discord channel. We already have a thousand people. It goes crazy. We are, you know, setting up a new goal. We're gonna try and hit 2,000 um, subscribers by the end of the month. Anyway, let's go back into today's video. The build we're going to be running is going to be Potion, Chugger, Treacherous Lungs, Crush, Robust, Rage, Achilles Strike, Bar, Dish. Pretty much this is the build that we're going to be playing today, full day today. We're not going to change nothing. We're not going to pretty much from game to game. It's going to be the same exact build, the same exact gear set, and absolutely nothing would be changed. Um, for the most part, I'm going to be using regular pots and uh, green and blue bandages. It's going to be green because the greens are, are actually pretty cheap, like around 150 gold per three pieces and uh, around 250 gold per three blue bandies. Um, also, we're going to use Francesca Axes. We're not going to use um, Axe Mastery, even though the Axe Mastery will buff my playstyle. But since mainly because we're going to be playing with Bardish, I will try to make my Barbarian run extremely fast with the combination of Rage and Treacherous Longs, which make this build really damn effective. Anyway, we're gonna go and try play in a High Roller. The thing is, why do I want to play in High Roller? I'll explain. We got a new patch, and with the new patch, we got final rewards. Not only you want to go and get that coin back, they're gonna come with the Wanderer in the next wipe, which is gonna happen in 26 days, or on September 6th. But also, you want to go and aim to get all this beautiful cheese here. I'm interested to get this campfire, but I'm completely disinterested to get this tainted heart. I'm not sure, like, why would... Uh, I just don't like it. Like, it's just a soul, and uh, basically the soul would be here in the chest. And I know, like, I like the pots here are beautiful, great. Like, this skin in particular that our mace has come out are hella awesome. They're, it's, like, really great. But this, like, I don't know, man. Like, the tainted heart, like... I play solo, like, who is even gonna see that, I, you know, I have a Tainted Heart? Like, unless it's gonna glow or something on my chest, you know, through the piece. Yeah, no, that would be sick, but uh, I don't think that's what it's gonna be like. Anyway, let's hop in the game. Let's go clap some cheeks and let's try and get as many, you know, <laughs> as much content as it's possible. And yeah, so let's just hop in. So, I was trying to track down the rogue, but I genuinely had no freaking idea where he could be at. I decided to walk in Troll's room, I already killed him up here, and uh, I decided to get in the Premiere Pro and start to recording the intro for my next video, while waiting for someone to come and stop by. I only was able to record for less than a minute, up until the point that I heard steps. The time has come, whoever is gonna come here is gonna die. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was not trying to rot anyone, I was just simply trying to mess around with my Premiere Pro. <laughs> Until this fucking rogue stumbled upon me. Legit, that was fucking hilarious, like, cause, um... I did not think that anyone gonna come this early. <laughs> but I think I found a life hack, how I could actually produce my videos faster. Just start to edit them mid-fucking raid. <laughs> I've looted the rogue, I went down the room, I came across a troll. Well, my friend, your time has come. It's been a fucking month and a half since the last time I killed the uh, elite version of a troll, so it's gonna be a challenge. Usually it's not that big of a deal, but today was different. I completely 
forgot how to do it in a way I got a hit like twice over and uh listen I was not that happy with performance I had to actually get the basics down and um learned a little bit For some freaking reasons the homie was attacking me twice in a row when he was supposed to just one attack maybe it's due to lack of move speed or maybe it's due to lack of action speed and uh, it could be both like really so I took it slowly, I didn't really try to rush things, but even then it only took me a little under a minute and a half to get the troll down. Like usually, what are you supposed to do when you are looting gold? Well, you simply go to YouTube and you google up the most YouTube dark and darker. And then we just start watching videos, pretty much. That's what I was doing up until the um, skinny pit showed up on my screen. This skinny pit was kind of weird in particular because he was running birdish and usually the skinny pit is known for using the Zweihander. This time around skinny pit was not interested in fighting me and he just decided to run away. After further investigation I have come to the conclusion that this skinny pit is likely to be not an actual skinny pit and this guy is a pretentious imposter. After trying to chase him down for next couple of minutes I've came to realization that I've been completely wasting my time doing absolutely not what am I supposed to do in a high roller which is farming AP. I decided to call it a day and go into the next game. Mm hmm. Looks like we have someone here. Someone broke all the poises. The heck? Oh, I heard the rapier. Holy f bro, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Alright, let's back the fuck away a little bit. We don't have Achilles anymore. Aww. It's okay. Doesn't matter, really. Just the rope. Oh shit, god damn, he got some purples, brother. Hell yeah. I've decided to kind of change my plan in particular. I'm gonna go and fight for next 7 minutes. And then when there's gonna be like five to seven minutes left, I'm go oh, there's a homie fucking right here. I will go and kill the troll. I fucking didn't expect it's gonna be a fighter. I'm gonna lay. I thought uh, something else. I'm not really hundred percent certain if I oh, there's a homie right below. What the fuck is homie doing? What is this fucking? Yo, I thought it was a wizard. It's a barb. He had a fucking ignite on or something. What are they doing? <laughs> They're friends. Fuck. Well, one at a time, you know. I'm down. Let's deal with this guy, I guess. I guess we go fight fighter. One, two. Oh, that will be a cute little shot. Oh shit, that fucking hurts. I ducked it. Holy fuck, he only sliced me twice. He did so much damage, that's insane. That barb is so fucking low though. I mean, the fighter. Yeah, I just gotta pop a couple bandages more. Wait a second, I'm at full fucking HP already. What the freak? Yo, bro, this shit is insane. I legit used only a couple of potions, it was just a matter of seconds be before I got from like no HP to full HP. Yo, that is money maker 3000, you piece of fucking shit. Teamed up with the homie. People really do like to fucking cheese stuff, I could tell you that much. <laughs> the moment people got an opportunity, boom, fucking no remorse. You know, just fucking every single game, normal or high roller, it does not matter. Everyone fucking finding friends, everyone loves to fucking cheese. Fucking unacceptable. <laughs> Dude, what at the time? I killed this homie and it took me like half a second to loot him. Yo, those changes are sick, brother. Not only you get to heal up super fucking fast, which is great in my opinion. I actually thought that was a bad change at first, but now I honestly think it's a great idea. It comes from the idea that um, if you get to get away even for like a very short period of time, you get to reset, you know, back to normal, which is kind of insane. So now the regular interaction is going to be pretty sick, I would say. And also a barbarian as a class is also kind of got buffed. 
I'll explain the why. If you get advantage, it would be very hard for anyone to get away from you. And if you get the land a couple of hits, you will be able to actually use it to your advantage to be able to heal up the missing HP that you have and, uh, you know, apply more pressure in the process. I'm going to try to show you in uh, upcoming fights and um, we're definitely going to have some fights where I will be able to, um, you know, use the advantage of uh, quick healing. All right. Hello, troll. There should be a couple more hits down. Goodbye. What the fuck? Thank you, bitch. GG, brother. Let's see what the homie has. Goodbye, my troll. Oh, I don't think he's gonna have much, so we might as well just quickly loot the gold pile and go into the next game. I'm gonna be honest with you, people in High Roller playing like bunch of scared cats. Like, I want to say bunch of scared pussies, but uh, I feel like cats is the better word than this, you know, in particular. Actually, I'm curious how much AP we're gonna get out of this game. Let's see. Probably around 15, 1400. Damn, we could do better than that. There's gotta be someone here. Like, all this gas doesn't come from nowhere. Someone must have aggroed that early on. We have a homie here. I heard steps or jumps. He's on the other side of the door. Here we go. Let's see if he's gonna try and push down. That was not the smartest choice, brother. Okay, I'm horrible. Okay. Well, I mean... Alright, I'm not horrible. I'm taking my words back. The homie died. Not in the way that I would expect. I somehow was able to squeeze in. Also, I didn't break that door. And I don't know how. I think I hit the door, didn't I? I seen a droid on the other side. We might as well go and try fuck with them a little. Gotta be careful though. Droids can hurt. Here we go. Homie Druid is ready to strike. Let's bait him out a little bit. Don't want to get hit by that extra damaging stuff. Oh, well, I mean... <laughs> GG, brother. That was a good fight, my homie. We didn't farm that much in this game in particular. We were chasing two people for quite a while. I think we got around 1,000. Hmm, not bad. Not at all. All these mobs are ended up being dead. We gotta be kinda... Never fucking mind. We have a wizard here. E oh shit, holy fuck. I was inch away from getting blasted. <laughs> I don't have the iron will, so I do fucking gotta take my risk, especially when it comes to fighting other wizards. They do possess a lot of threat. Shit, is kinda terrifying. I have treasures long, so I will be able to run for quite a while. I fucking whiffed my head. If I had my fuck- You fucking piece of shit. If I had my Bardish out, that homie would be so dead there. But it is what it is. Okay, a little slap. Someone used the shrine. I miss my friend. Oh, gotta get it back. I'm so not used to these fucking evil mobs in the um, high roller. They take so much effort to kill, like holy cow. Oh yeah, the homie is going upstairs right now. Oh shit, this mob is actually was still interested. Ow. Don't want to get hit by this guy though in particular. The poison will bleed me hard. Okay, I did not mean that, but I think I'm fine. I don't think he put any traps down here, so I don't think there is any threat at the moment. I am going to be his fucking target practice if I keep staying here, so if anything, I gotta pressure him to walk more forward toward me. Nah, the homie is big time chilling. I guess we're just gonna go double kill him. That will do too. Let's see. He missed one hit. It's time for him to triple shot. He literally missed every single hit. And I didn't. One more. And you're dead, Juju brother. We gotta heal up as soon as possible because uh, I also remember there was um, Rogue and the Wizard, so we do need to be fucking careful. 
Not bad, homie has a full blooper kit. But uh, I am kind of more invested to get more AP rods and gear. So unfortunately, some of this stuff would just have to be left out on the floor. Well, that's the reality of high roller. You come for AP, you gotta go and sacrifice the good gear, you know what I mean? Hmm. The homie started the fight, now he's running away. <laughs> Ach. If I had like 10 more moves, but... Nope, oh, a little too far. Oh, we have another guy on the other side. Okay, now we gotta be more careful. Might as well focus on breaking some boxes. That's 2 AP per box. Definitely not a bad time investment, I would say. It's like, if you have nothing to do, at least do something right, you know what I mean? And breaking boxes... Oh, we have a guy here. Another druid. Goddamn, bro. Oh, hello there. I'll be very happy to fight with it, I'm gonna be honest. Ah, a little further down, that'd be sick. We just close the door, bait him a little around. Person who has higher move speed controls the fight. He does. That's just the basic logic of Dark and Darker. Whoever has more move speed will have to push. Otherwise, there is no point to even try and chase the person down. He tried to zap me, he missed. That zap would fucking hurt, I know for sure. Oh shit, actually does hurt a lot more than I thought. I don't really have iron wheels, so that's understandable. Where would I want to take a fight? I don't have much potions. Hmm. Might as well go back and loot that homie right there. Um, the ranger and took his meds. I missed. We'll have to reset. There is no other option. If you miss your Achilles strike, just walk away. You will get to another chance to fight again when, you know, when the time will come. No, no, no. Oh, fuck me. I think the homie thinks that I'm hurt and uh, it's probably gonna be invested in fighting me. Oh no, what am I supposed to do? GG, brother. The moment he walked up to that staircase, I was like, yep, you're dead, brother. <laughs> like, in my mind, he was already, you know, that was already corpse. Okay, now nah, we'll take some meds. I've been trying to chase down the druid for past, like, three minutes, but I guess we're just gonna loot up the homie. And, uh, yeah, good thing, at least I didn't forget about the fucking wizard. <laughs> the homie came in prepared, which is actually kind of nice. Definitely not bad. All right, we're in. Well, let's see where we're gonna end up this time around. Hopefully we're gonna come. Oh shit, I just realized I only brought one Francesca. Fuck me. Well, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you guys notice the, oh, what the fuck? The fucking mage rotates around every time he shoots. So he is not just fucking a stationary machine gun. He became a complete monstrosity, just rotates around 360 degrees at each and every angle. Should be another one right here. They do die in two hits, but uh, yeah, you gotta be a very... Holy fuck! Shit! God damn, I almost died to this fucking thing, are you serious? Ah, right, dog, that's fucking crazy. Hmm? Do we have someone below? Yeah, no, most definitely we have someone below. Let's see. That's true. Looks like you have a full agility set. Loose child is agility, agility, agility. I only see agility. Okay, I hit him once here. Nope. <laughs> Didn't work. Not sure if I will be able to catch up to this one. I only have one princess axe. Oh, we have another guy here. Well, this guy I'm a lot more interested in fighting, I'm gonna be honest, than that druid. But, um... This is the cleric with 65% PDR, 150 health, um, divine protection, and, um... 
the other thing, I forgot. What was the name? The smite. Oh, fuck. You didn't mean that. It's fine. I have rage. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna get hit once or twice. Maybe I get to hit him here. You know, I fucking didn't mean that. Stairs made me lose my Achilles strike. I would have to walk away. Understandable. Not the ideal place to fight, if anything. Let's back away here and then we'll fight somewhere at a better place, I would say. Because we also have a druid, even if we fight cleric here. He might as well third party us. And it's definitely not gonna be an easy fight, so... Oh yeah, no, the fucking homie is actually interested. Ideally, ideally, I come across someone, make them fight, and then third party. Because the cleric with the buckler is, um, you know, the PDR is your main counter on a barb, so it's actually gonna take a lot of effort to kill that guy. Also, I'm not allowed to fight him. Oh, there's a homie, by the way. I'm not allowed to fight a cleric when he has a smite on, so yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, oh, shit, homie's here. Okay, well, we'll get to kill this guy first. Oh my god, I thought I tilted my head enough to actually be able to hit through the doorway. But I guess it's not the case. That was a headshot. Two shots. Okay. Alright, well now the two mobs are gonna block him out. We can get him get away. Okay, a little arm shot. And he died to a mob. Alright, we have a cleric right there. No, 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 no. We're gonna get hit a couple times here for sure. Yeah. That's fine, though. Alright, let's go up here, break the door. This is a quite convenient place to break. Bomb. Alright. We're gonna keep running. We have a little um stairs case that leads upstairs right here. Very convenient. Oh, as long as don't get hit, though. <laughs> And we will be able to jump downstairs after healing up. Should be able to pull it off. Yeah, I'm actually getting my HP back. Was able to pull the second pot. I mean, second bandage. Also, we have the mage, which is great. Yeah, that's really good for us. Looks like the homie took his helmet off. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Don't want to get hit by this bullshit. Oh, well... I think Spike is gonna be that low on HP. We gotta bait him out. Um, cannot fight him when he has both of his skills. Because that would be really bad. Which is not good at all. Oh, wait, there's a Wizard there. Oh, shit. Nah, it's fine. I get to kill that Wizard in a couple of hits. Not a big deal. If the wither though will put some pressure, oh no, the wither decided to completely ignore the cleric. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> it does have a helmet on, which is good for me, I guess. Alright, well. Okay, no, 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 I fucked up big time. No Achilles. Thank you for a little boost, brother. I hurts a little, but not bad. Alright, well, we gotta reset again. <laughs> the second reset. Well, it is what it is. That's what you gotta do. On the bright side, though, it really doesn't take any time to get all your HP back. Like the potion chugger with the bandage, boom, your full HP. That's actually the best change that Dark and Darker has come up with. It's actually beautiful. All right, let's see what's going on here. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, the cleric doesn't have both chest piece and the helmet. Is that how he's supposed... Is that how he's wanna fight me? Are you fucking serious? Brother, you, you die here. Like, you legit gonna die here. And also, I will be able to just simply heal up, get to my full HP in just a couple of seconds. You're two shots away from dying, 100%. Oh, that was a headshot, by the way. And... Another headshot. Oh, I mean, the homie chose this. <laughs> he decided to strip down. I have no fucking idea why would he do that. It's like, basically, he's just like, Oh, hey, Barb. How about I let you kill me? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he killed the withered here. Yeah, this guy. I, I would assume he stripped down to kill the um, withered. And um, basically, 
he forgot to put that stuff back on. Well, that's my friend is a high roller, so that's how people play in high roller. So it's uh, like if you can't catch up to somebody, you gotta strip down, and um, I do that quite often too. So it's actually there's nothing wrong with that. Just gotta make sure you put your stuff back in the fight. But yeah, like there was. Um... Oh shit! The homie is actually kind of geared. Hell yeah! Let's take that cheese. True magical, magical power, that's pretty good. Yo, no, the whole kid, the homie has actually decent. Those with their boots with uh, Muspet and uh, Agility. They look best, but they're 100 gold on market. <laughs> you know what, let's not be greedy and let's just go next game. We're fine. We didn't get my GP, but that's fine. I'm gonna be honest, for the most part, I don't really like playing on a high roller unless there is something to do in high roller. Usually the high roller is made for PvE, but since the Iron Maze has come out with the new change that will just uh, force people to wear this stuff to end up in a high roller, now it's actually a much better place. You gotta have at least 225 gear score to end up here. Pretty much you can just get a windlass and you will have just about as much, um, you know, the AP points or gear score points. Um, but um, still, still, I've noticed a lot more geared players in the high roller than usual. Because for the most part, it's just going to be naked people, like naked rats trying to get some cheese from chests and boxes. I think we have someone here. Let's see. Here we go, yeah. I knew I heard somebody. Okay, one hit here. This. <laughs> this is your brother. Let's see what the homo has. Okay, yeah, a little bit of true, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not bad, we take that. Hmm, interesting, looks like we have someone here. Someone cleared up the trope of mobs. Gotta be careful here, don't wanna get ambushed. Oh, we have a cleric. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I wanna headshot him. Oh, and that will do. Perfect. Well, he's my friend, a Giga Chad, because he's a high roller. Obviously had to brought in at least 225 points. Have a bunch of purples and greens. Well, that's my friend, is the Giga Chad in the high roller. You have a homie right above. We gotta be kinda careful. Let's see if the homie will try to jump here. Oh, brother, you chose this. Oh. Okay, that must have fucking hurt. That must have done real damage right here. I'm actually fast. Yo, the homie is lagging. Alright, let's cloak him in the face. Let's see how long he's gonna fucking handle that. Alright. Homie couldn't handle the pressure of barbarian punches. It is what it is. It's actually quite convenient to farm both centipedes at the same time. Easiest AP in my life. Oh, another cleric. I like clerics, they're my favorite species. Very annoying to deal with. In fact, my direct counter, so it's actually always a challenge. I'm honestly not even sure why would you even do wanna play on the caster cleric right now. I genuinely don't think it's good at this moment. Because the bandages will just heal you better than, you know, than your book out. <laughs> like, you might as well just pop a potion, that's it. Like, legit, a better version. Oh, he has my on. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's see who does more damage to you and me. Oh, no, I'm not gonna let you get away, brother. Oh, well. That kinda... <laughs> I just didn't expect you will die in one hit like that. I thought it would need a couple more, like three more Francesca axes. Oh, that would be fucking sick. Alright, let's see what this combo has. Oh, shit, dog. Fucking homie came in prepared. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> Instant reaction. Fuck you. No, I feel that, brother. I feel that. In fact, I would have said the exact same thing. <laughs> oh my god. It's like completely justified what he said here. Completely justified. Yeah, let's go fucking kill Troll. I hope you get boiled. Holy shit, dude, what the fuck? 
Calm down, dude. Calm down. <laughs> I really got on his nerves, I think. But anyway, we gotta go and kill the troll. Gotta get that AP going, you know what I mean. Alright, should be a couple more hits. Okay, dokie, not bad. Alright, let's see if we get a troll pull. Oh, 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 oh. Hell yeah, give that bitch to me. We actually have a couple of really decent pieces. Like, actually chunky pieces. Oh shit, so we have so many stacks of meds, that's insane. Actually insane. And the thing is, each and every one of them costs gold. A good chunk of gold. Well, unlucky we didn't really come across anybody else, but we got a couple of really good pieces. That doublet right there, action plus max cells, true pelt, actually not bad, and a lot of very high quality bandages and meds. We gotta check actually how much AP we're gonna get out of this game. I would assume around uh, 1000, because we haven't really brought out that much um, cheese, you know what I mean? For the most part, it's just a uh, lot of but still, let's actually see. I think it should be around 1200. 1400? Damn, not bad. We take that. Alright, everybody, into the next game we go. Let's see if we can find some Francesca axes. Haven't brought that many. Big mistake. I have a guy here behind the wall. Let's see what the home is doing. Cleric. Divine protection plus smite. So he just run out of bows. Good for me, I guess. Now let's give him a little of fight here. What the homie doing? We have a druid as well. That's gonna be interesting. Yep, let's kill the clerk first. And then we'll deal with the druid. Nice. Two hits here. He just died just like that. I absolutely love the new changes and how fast you will be able to heal. Actually makes it really damn good. Homie me turn to bear, not sure what was his plan. But don't mind if I do. I fucking missed two hits. Oh wait, I could actually can be on him. I'm already full HP, I absolutely fucking love this stuff, bro. Nah, 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 this is legit the best change the Iron Mace has come out with. It's really good. Okay, I fucking missed my hit. Doesn't matter though. The homie is geared, so he's gonna try to apply pressure. He's not some new player homeboy. Let's deal with the mobs really quick. Wow, that fucking hurts. Holy cow. What am I so Shit, bro, chill. Calm down, calm down. Listen. That did a lot of damage, brother. <laughs> oh. Okay. Calm down, bro. What? A one hit. No, he's like one hit as well. There's no way. Oh, well, like, he actually was one hit. GG, brother. God damn, the homie cleric is looking pretty chunky. Definitely not bad. Yeah, he have some good stuff. Looks like homie is very invested in the fight. Well, let's give him fight. That's what we are here for. We have a Fallen Axe, so we gotta keep the distance. Let's use the potion. We're probably gonna get a free hit here. We're just gonna... Okay, he missed his second hit. And he died. GG, brother. That was a good fight. See what the homie has. Bro, what is... What is that row of Francesca axes? The homie didn't throw a single one of them. What is the point? You brought in 20 Frannies. You didn't use any of them. Holy fuck, this homie is so geared. God damn, brother. That's crazy, bro. Why would the homie not throw even a single Franny in the whole fight when he has like a fucking whole inventory of them? That's crazy, brother. Okay, looks like someone killed the troll. Let's 
prepare. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Let's use the potion of protection just in case. Is he a threat? Holy. Yeah, he is a threat. Oh, fuck. Half HP in one hit. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Let's pop a surgical kit really quick. The beauty of a purple surgical kit fucking takes a couple seconds to use. Actually good. Alright. Let's hit him a couple of times and let's uh, throw the rest of princesses I have. I don't want to give him a chance to actually one-shot me. Okay. That was expected. Oh shit, that actually did hurt. We could just simply walk at some point. He's gonna walk into the trajectory. I don't think he is healthy at all. Chichi brother, I thought it would take more than that, but uh, it is what it is. That was a good fight. And that was a very good parry on your end. Holy cow, that did a lot of damage. Alright, that was not bad so far. Let's just go quickly extract. And we might as well call it a day and see how much we actually made. Damn, no. I legit kind of started enjoying playing Hyrule. Because... Uh, there was no players to fight previously, but now with the new change, there's actually geared players, and I like that a lot. Even though, like, I've heard people complaining that the um, new gear score and high roll kind of ass, I think it's a good change. As long as there are players to fight, like, I'm all, you know, down for it. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's actually see how much we made. I would assume 1400. Nah, 1100. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Alright everybody, I want to conclude today's video. There's one thing that I want to mention. The potion chakra with the new meds, with the new bandages, put Barbarian a lot higher up in the tier list. I would say that previously Barbarian was a B tier, but with the combination of a new meds and combination of potion chakra and crush, the Barbarian is a lot better class now. You may say, but everybody else get to use the bandages, you know, the same way as Barbarian do. But the thing is, not every other class has crush. And basically, now that you have that, you will be able to actually chase people a lot better and reset fights a lot better. The thing is, other classes doesn't have Achilles Strike with Rage, you know, or like, well, Fighter has Sprint, but it's not the case. The thing here is, you get to engage in the fight dish out some damage and reset your fights a lot more frequent, a lot easier than you could do on other classes. And also you get to get away with the crush, which just put Barbarian in a better class. Also not only just get away ability, but also a great chase ability. And um, with the recent change of, um, you know, better pots, better meds, better like bandages and surgical kits, this just put Barbarian to be in a lot better tier right now. I think Barbarian is in a solid A minus um, A tier class. And um, yeah, it's definitely not a bad class. Like I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more on Barb. And um, I'm going to be honest, I had a blast playing in the high roller. It was good time. We haven't lost yet this kit in particular. We got a decent amount of good kills. And um, overall, it was a um, pretty good time. I enjoy playing on the barb, I think it's a good class, and uh, I think that was a huge, massive W Iron Maze patch that they've recently come up with. I feel like it just makes the game so much better, it's actually insane. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, it's Timo, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to come in our Discord channel and hang out with us. I'll see you in the dungeon, peace out.